What's up, Dallas Cowboys fans? Denny Kerr, Tim here with your Dallas Cowboys Daily Blitz for today, Thursday, October 19th. It's Cowboys bye week. Not a lot of stuff really happening. Uh, there is, of course, the NFL trade deadline coming up October 31st, 3 p.m. Central Time, and there's lots of talk about uh, potential moves the Cowboys may be making. The, uh, you know, certain position groups the Cowboys may be targeting in the at the trade deadline, cornerback, wide receiver, linebackers, that's all been thrown out there. I have my own thoughts. I think the Cowboys will probably stand pat. Um, they've got draft capital, but I think they want to continue to keep that, to continue to build some depth. You're going to need to add offensive, defensive line in the next draft. Um, you've already lost your fourth-round pick in last year's draft when you drafted Eric Scott Jr. You had to move up to get him. You gave the Dolphins your fourth-round pick, I think. So that is gone. Um, and don't forget, if you, you trade for somebody, you're going to have to pay them, ultimately. And the Cowboys are really trying hard to keep that cap their, their cap number down. To uh, You're going to have to sign Lamb. You're going to have to sign Parsons. And if you think you want to, you're going to have to sign Dak. Um, so, you know, we don't know what the Cowboys' long-term thoughts are on Dak. But we all have our own thoughts, don't we? So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Dak is actually the topic of our show for today. Um, as you know, for you guys that have been around as long as me as Cowboys fans, we know that the Cowboys quarterback is always under a microscope. It's a much bigger stage than if you play quarterback for any other team. And where there is great attention, there usually comes great credit when you're doing well. And on that stage also comes great criticism when you're not doing well. And the position of quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys seems to be one uh, that is the, you know, it's like playing shortstop for the Yankees or first base for the Yankees or right field for the Yankees or center or left wing for the Canadiens or, you know, take whatever your soccer example is of that. I know nothing about that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a position that it's one of the most famous in all of professional sports. So... Uh, And Dak is no exception. When you look at the doors that it has opened for previous people that were in that spot, you know, let's go all the way back to, well, we've got two world-class broadcasters right now on uh, NFL coverage, Troy Aikman, Tony Romo. I don't know that either one of those opportunities would have been afforded to them had they not been the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Certainly it might have, but Aikman, of course, Clearly, with his, his three Super Bowls with the Cowboys in the 90s, uh, when he retired, that door opened up for him because of who he was. And, you know, Romo, although there were no Super Bowls associated with him, there certainly was success. And he was the face of the Cowboys for a while. And, you know, even playing in the Tom Brady era and, you know, the, the other quarterbacks that he that he faced, he was the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And I don't know that, especially in Romo's situation, if he was just your random five, six-year quarterback for the Cardinals, <laughs> you know, if that door would have opened for him. I, I Maybe? I don't know. He's good. I think he's good at what he does. But anyway, we all understand and we agree that the Cowboys quarterback is on a separate stage. And Mike McCarthy agrees. Now, he's got an opinion here I don't know that I necessarily agree with, but uh, I had a question for you guys. Uh, as Dak Prescott is on that huge stage as the quarterback of the Cowboys. We talked about the pressure, the ridicule, the credit that comes along with that. You know, there's the potential there for a person to not be able to handle that emotionally, especially when there's ridicule. And let's admit, Prescott has not played well the last couple of years on and off. And there are certainly those pundits out there who would say he's probably not the right man for the job at this point of of his career and this point where the Cowboys are. Uh, I'm not sure that Prescott has handled that pressure very well. And I don't know that it's, I'm not saying it has, but I don't know that that hasn't had something to do with his negative performance on the field, his inconsistent play. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, that I, I have no idea. I've never been put in a position like that, and I never will. And so I can't really say how that would affect me. I don't think it would affect me very positively, I'll tell you that. But I don't know that Dax reacted positively to it. Maybe I, I don't I don't know I I think that maybe has something to do with his struggles on the field. However, his coach Mike McCarthy Mike McCarthy it's easy for me to say uh, disagrees with me and he thinks Dak has handled it wonderfully. 
Uh, he appeared on uh, Mad Dog Radio on Sirius XM. And we've got a couple of quotes here I want to read you. Um, and uh, he's, 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 he's all in on Dak, which I know that's the company line, so I don't know if he's just saying it, but it is what it is here. It's quotable. Uh, McCarthy said, I love Dak Prescott as our quarterback. I think the way he's built all the way through, obviously if his physical skill set is excellent, but what he endures mentally and emotionally compared to the other 31 NFL starting quarterbacks is unique. Speaking on an, uh, on experience of being around great quarterbacks like Joe Montana, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, I've never seen a quarterback under a microscope like he is. Just his consistency, his personality and work ethic, and how he handles all that and navigates all that and how he goes out and performs every week, I think it's special what he has to endure, end quote. Well, clearly some of that's accurate. It is very special that what the things he has to endure as the quarterback of the Cowboys. But, uh, you know, McCarthy's – and McCarthy's clearly closer to the situation than any of us. So if he thinks he's handling it um, positively, then, then, you know, who are we to argue <clears throat> other than uh, McCarthy just toting the company line? But, you know, we do all agree, I think, that the Cowboys quarterback playing that position uh, presents its own challenges, maybe that don't come along with, with playing quarterback for something. Like I said, go play quarterback for the, uh, for the Cardinals. Go play quarterback for the Chargers. Go play quarterback, uh, I don't know, the Bears we mentioned. Um, you know, the Titans, you know, <laughs> who cares? There's no pressure there. Um, but McCarthy also spoke on that. He said uh, – Quote, I think the intensity of the microscope on Dak, I've never seen anything like it. For him to be as consistent, his attitude is very much the same every day as far as how he attacks the preparation part of it. You have to be unique to deal with that. And this is year eight for him, so he's been dealing with this a long time here. The intensity is nothing like I've ever seen. End quote. So, yeah, again, McCarthy's giving Dak all the props for, for handling the pressure and the scrutiny now for eight years people comparing him to Tony Romo early in his career. And now that he's been here, he's in his eighth season, he's going to be compared to every other quarterback that's played for the Cowboys ever since. So, um, you know, is he handling that pressure okay? But maybe, I guess. I just personally, I have my, my doubts. That I think this is affecting him negatively. Uh, the the scrutiny, the negative press, the just the, the lack of success that the club has has had under his watch. And you know what? McCarthy's probably feeling the same thing. Let's let's we haven't talked about the coach of the Cowboys. It's very much the same as the quarterback of the Cowboys. So it's a unique position. It's a unique job. It's a unique team, uh, especially in in the NFL. So it is what it is. I'd love to hear what you guys think about Dak and about uh, the the scrutiny. Is it is it warranted? Is do you think he's handling it well? Leave me a comment here in the video, the comment section of the video, either on Fanstream Sports or here on the Fish Report YouTube channel, and let me know what you guys think about all of that. I'd love to hear, and maybe we can discuss it on a on a later show if I get enough comments and and involvement here. But um, Cowboys on a bye week. The uh, next opponent, of course, the L.A. Rams on October 29th. That'll be here in Arlington at noon on Fox. We'll get into some of that as the as the week goes on. But I appreciate you guys tuning in here. We'll do it all again probably tomorrow with some more bye week Cowboys non-news and things like that. We'll find us something interesting, though, for you guys to listen to. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll do it all again later, boys and girls. Until then, we'll see you.